what's your relationship with Amon Ra St. Brown? Do you have one? Do you talk with him? I, I'd, I'd love to know whatever information you're willing to cough up here. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I mean, honestly, you know, don't know too much more than, you know, the average Joe. Um, I just started getting back into the fold this year. Okay. You know, I haven't been around a whole bunch of practices. I've been around a few. You know, I've been able to, um, you know, sit down and we didn't have had too many crossings, but I'm about to talk to the kid. And I love the kid, man. Humble, uh, hard worker. And I think that, you know, we get to see that hard work, uh, you know, every Sunday. Because it don't just happen on Sunday. You got to put it in during the week. I know that. And I, 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 I'm, I'm happy to see that he's putting in the work because, you know, he's killing guys in the middle of the field. You know, he's, he's, hell of a, he's a hell of a player. I was going to ask you, what do you think makes him so good? And, you know, I think, you know, he, he he's smart. He doesn't lose leverage. And he has strength. You know, I think when you combine those things, you know, you got the savvy, you know, and then you're strong. And then you have a will. You have a will not to lose. You have a will not to not to give in. You know, you got a will to outwork everybody else. That, that, that can, all those things combined, uh, you know, uh, that's how you put out 1,400 yards on a season and put up 1,000 yards seasons consistently in a, in, a, in a pro bowler. And obviously he got snubbed this year, but, you know, that's, that's, that's what he's doing. I mean, he got snubbed for the pro bowl, but not for all pro, all pro. which, as you yeah. know, that's, that's kind of yeah. the, the one you want anyway yeah. if you had to choose. Obviously you want it all. But um, he, he, yeah, he is that good. He really yeah. is, man. And I just love watching him play. And it just – the way that he catches, it he, he it's a, it stuns me if he doesn't – if it drops, right? I mean, it's just – it's you're just – I'm used to seeing him catch and turn and know exactly where to go every single time. I love him because, like, you know when he catches the ball, he's he just looking to do damage after he catches the ball. You know, you never know what's going to happen when he gets the ball. He's another one of those guys just like, shoot, he can take it to the house anytime he touches it. What would it mean for the Lions to win this game, make an NFC championship game, and keep the keep this thing rolling, Calvin? Man, I don't know, man. I just feel like I'm in I'll be in a perpetual dream state, you know, just you know, along with the rest of Michigan. We don't know what to expect now. We're just trying to, you know, live you know, ride this thing as long as we can right now. You know, but the good thing is that we got a good backing, you know, we got a good foundation and what uh Brad and uh and Dan and, and the whole squad and over there what the Lions are doing. So it isn't it, it ain't for no reason. It ain't just it ain't just happened out of nowhere. It's the reason why we're here. So we're excited. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.